Oh, hi, guys. I'm sorry. You couldn't hear me. How are you guys? How's it been going? All fine. And you? Oh, good. Good, good. Nice to have you here. So, how was your day? Fine. All right. Remember to turn on the cameras, guys. All right, guys. Let me send a message. Hello. Hey, what's up? How's everything going, Miguel? Are you making another video game? No. Yes. No? Actually, yes I'm, no? So I sort of had a prologue. I can I don't really know how to pronounce that, but it's the introduction to a story that I was reading. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so you you were um, so well, how do you do the how do you do the sprites? No, I just look at pictures of stuff that I want to draw. Like, well, sometimes I use references for the animations of what I'm trying to make. Like, let's see, I think I can set pictures here, right, in the chat. Yeah. Yes, okay. I think so. I have. A, Let's see. This is just a little bit something that I had been working on a couple of days ago. It's not really complete, but let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see. If I can find it first. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. That's right. Let's see. I think it's. I don't know. I really know if it will show a GIF. No, it doesn't show anything. It's and a, let's see. Animation. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gift. Yeah, a gift. Yeah. You will have to pull it up. Well, yeah, I had to find something to to open the gift file because you won't. Yeah. You won't. It won't open it like this. Uh, all right. Very it's good. A small animation. Though. Yeah, I did. I did the same Record thing when running. when I did mine. I did the same thing. Um, I did it through, through that type of animation. You could. I. It's it's possible to do it better than that, though. You know. Um. But yeah. I actually. That's not. That's just. Uh, how do I say? It? That's not the source file. The just the result. But it's just the Sur result. Yep. The source file is in, it's another, how do I say it, another format. Uh, okay. All right, very good, very good. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What, what do you do for, for um, you know, uh, what are your hobbies, Lydia? What, what do you usually do? Uh, exercise, read, play the piano. Oh, you eat. play the piano? All right. Yeah, so so a little bit. A little bit. Do you yeah, out? I am learning. Huh? Do you out? Are you learning? Are you? No, out? I am learning by myself. Are you learning by yourself? That's All right. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, I just eat, and that's it. <laughs> now, all right, guys. So we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday. Um, what's going on with this, guys? So we're missing Ellie and we're missing Idalia. Idalia, did she say that he ha she had something today? No, I think that no. All right, hold on. Hold on, let me send her a message. Very good, guys. Hey, that's that's awesome. So how how often do you exercise, uh, Lydia? Um, a uh, heart exercise like Monday, um, my booty, um, and another day is arms, the back, the abs. But you go uh, to the gym? No, I have a little gym in my house. Oh my god, that's <laughs> <laughs> because I love exercise, and my dad knows that, so so he bought you the equipment. Yeah, because if you remember, we have coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. So, 
And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I do exercise like very hard. And Friday, so so. Oh, Sunday, okay. Because I can't do a lot of, because I am in the process of, I don't know how to say, aumentar masa muscular. Gain um, body mass, body mass. Yeah, gain, okay, gain body, body mass. mass. Okay. And in, when you are in that pro in that process, you can't do a lot of exercise. Oh, okay, all right. Because your body needs to rest. Your body needs to rest. Hey, that. hey yeah. that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I kind of have, I kind of have, I, I do have um, I have a a weight bench in my house, so I I lift weights, you know. Uh, well, I started to lift weights again. Um. But like I don't I don't do cardio like I I wish you know but I, I barely have any time so I exercise like half an hour maybe if I had time like one hour like but every day you know um but uh, whenever I start exercising again so if I start lifting weights again I start putting on weight you know I I read that it's because when you haven't exercised for a long time and you start exercising again then your body start uh, your body starts uh, storing water. You know, like the, the uh, you know, it's um, um, there is a, a lot, of, a lot behind it, but it's 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 supposed to be because of that. And you know, it's true. Like every time that I start exercising, I get I put on weight, even if I eat less than before. You know, oh, but it okay. might be because of sugar levels and, and such. All right, hey, but that's that's great. What about you, Alejandra? Welcome back, Alejandra. How are you? Hi. Good night. I'm I'm okay. All right, good to see you again. Good to see you. Where have you been, Alejandra? Uh, well, you know, here and then. Here and there. All right. Well, thank you for being here, Alejandra. <laughs> um, but you're not the same. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, you're not. You're not the same, Alejandra. No. All right, guys. So do me a favor. Uh, turn on the cameras and thank you, Alejandra, for for coming to class. All right, guys. So we're gonna continue with noun clauses today, guys. So yesterday. <clears throat> Yesterday, we talked about uh, relative clauses, right? So, Miguel, uh, give me an example of um, a relative clause, okay? Using a relative pronoun. Let's go back if you want, right? So, when we use, a relative, so when we, when we use a relative clause, guys, we're talking about what? Remember, we call it, what is the other name that these, uh, the relative clause receives? Lydia? Adjective clause. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> An adjective clause. Why is it called like that, Miguel? Because it does modify the subject. Very good job because it modifies the subject. All right. Very good. All right. So we got some examples here just to, uh, just to kind of refresh what we learned yesterday. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and bring up another example. Ellie. All right. So give me one example, Ellie. Which one? All right, give me an example of a relative clause. Oh, okay. All right, all right sounds good. Um, so, Lydia, all right, give me one example, Lydia. Let me think. Um, a little moment. All right, very good, very good. All right, Miguel, meanwhile, you give me an example. Let's see. <laughs> The kid who said hi. The kid, okay, the kid who said hi. Remember guys, when we talk about relative clauses, we are, how many ideas do we have to have? Two. Oh. Two ideas together, right? So what is the first idea, Miguel? I. I I think it was it was not complete because it should have been the kid who said hi is a very courteous kid. Okay, very good. The the kid who said who said hi is is a very courteous kid. All right, very good. All right, Lydia. All right, do you have the example now? Yeah. Okay. The woman who is the teacher of my son. Okay, the woman who is the teacher of my son. Now, you're adding an optional. You're adding. You're adding optional information there. Okay, so 
let's have the okay. Let's bring up the two ideas first. Please. Give me one idea. A subject and an adjective. So, for example, the students are smart. All right, let's have a different idea. Uh, me? Uh huh. Um, the woman is a teacher. Okay, the woman is a teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, what else can we add to the information about the woman, uh, Miguel? Is an excellent teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, she's an excellent teacher. Okay, so now let's make a clause. All right, let's make a full sentence out of that. Okay, let's join those two ideas together. All right, so the woman. You said the woman is, is what? The woman is very, what do you say, Lydia? The woman is a teacher. Okay, all right. The woman is a teacher. Actually, all right, but remember, we have to use an adjective here, right? The woman is? A good teacher. Smart. Okay, all right, a good teacher. All right, and what would be the what would be the second idea? Miguel. <laughs> Miguel. He's a, he's a smart. Is, okay, she's smart. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, we're gonna use relative pronouns to join these two ideas together. Okay. So how can we join these two ideas together? Uh, Ellie, want to try? Alejandro, want to try? I don't know if you've seen the class. The woman who is a teacher is very smart. Very good. Okay, the woman who is, okay, who is a teacher is very smart. You got it. Very good. All right, plus for Alejandro. Good job, Alejandro. All right. You can say, guys, women, all right, um, you can say women or, hold on. You can say the women. The women studying hard. They are really intelligent. Okay. So how will we join these two ideas together, uh, Miguel? The women studying hard. Um, are studying hard. Okay. Actually, let's change this. Okay. Are studying hard. All right, they're they're really intelligent. So how do we how do we change this? The women who are studying hard are really intelligent. Are really intelligent. Okay, very good. So where is the relative pronoun here, Alejandra? Um, the relative pronoun. Uh huh. The the, uh -huh. the woman. Okay, so if I say the women who are studying, who are studying hard, where did I put that here? Okay, hold on. The women who are studying hard um, are really smart. Okay, so if I say the women who are studying hard are really smart, where is the relative pronoun here? Who? Very good. Okay, it is who. Okay, and what is the relative clause here? Um, are really smart. Okay, all right, Miguel, where is the relative clause here? Good job, Alejandro. Kind of, kind of, right? The whole the relative clause. clause. Uh huh. It should be who are, I think. Okay, who are studying hard, that really smart, guys, okay? All right, <clears throat> so that's, mm -hmm. that's um, this right here, this is the relative clause, right? Because it adds information about the subject of the sentence. We're describing the subject of the sentence, right? Very good. Good job, Alejandra. Have you been watching the classes, Alejandra? Or how do you know? I don't know. Um, I'm surprised that, because I haven't seen you, so I'm asking. Very good, very good job. So did you study or what happened? Yes, it's, you know, I, I like in English, so I guess like that's where I'm getting these ideas and using, you know, common sense. And of course, I'm also been studying, so. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's great, okay. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad about that. 
Um, very good, guys. Okay, so now today we're going to talk about noun clauses then. Okay, so what is the difference? <clears throat> all right. So first off, guys, all right, uh, help me read, um, Lydia. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. Very good. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. Okay. All right. Write that down, guys, because that, that's going to come in handy uh, later on. All right. And secondly, Ellie, what else? What else do we know about noun clauses? <clears throat> a noun clause. A noun clause is more detailed. Detailed. Det detailed description. Detail, detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so it's kind of like the same as a relative clause, right? However, guys, did you notice in the first example that we saw yesterday, guys? So over here, all right, you can notice the difference just by the, by this, guys. Okay, so where do we have? Uh, let's see, Alejandra. So you told me where the relative pronoun is okay so can you identify the relative pronoun in the first sentence in this sentence right here um, um i believe it's again right okay so this sentence right here all right there is a relative um a relative pronoun right so uh can you identify it Well, I don't know if it's me or if it's who. Okay, all right. Sure. We got we got who, which is one, and where's the other one, uh, Lydia? That. That. Very good. All right. Now check this out, guys. So, how can you identify if this is a relative, um, a relative uh, clause or a noun clause? Miguel? We saw this yesterday. You can ah. identify it by what it is, what is after that one, after okay. that. Very good, okay. And what is after the relative, what, what is that that you're talking about? Okay, in grammar, what is this, guys? What is this thing? In this case, it's it a It is verb. a verb, very good, guys. Okay, so relative. Relative pronoun plus a verb, relative pronoun plus a, plus a, there is a phrasal verb here, okay? So both of them are verbs, okay? So that's how you can identify that, you know, that this is a relative pronoun. Now check this out. Rel a relative noun, it is very easily, it is very easily identifiable too, right? Because where do you have, where do you see the relative, uh, I mean the, the noun clause here? First of all, where do you see the relative pronoun? Now that we know what relative pronouns are, where do you see the first one, Lydia? In the second example. I mean, here. here. The relative pronoun. Uh -huh. uh, the first one is that. Very good. We have that. Okay. All right. And the second one? When. When. Very good. Okay. But what follows after when? What is this in grammar? A noun. Very good, this is a noun, okay? All right, Alejandro, you got it? So this is how we identify this, right? It is a noun, all right? Let's take a look at the second example. Uh, Alejandra, what comes after the relative pronoun when? My friends. My friends, okay, very good. And what is friends here in, in grammar? Um, well, the noun, right? It is a noun, very good job, okay? Therefore, it is a, how do we call this? How do we call the clause, guys? How do we call this clause noun. right here? It is a noun clause, very good, all right? All right, so that's gonna be, that's how you can identify, you know, the difference, right? Very good, guys, okay? So what else do we have, okay? So it's a sentence within a sentence, guys, okay? All right. Uh, so how do we connect, how do we connect noun clauses? Miguel, let's take a look at the screen, all right, and uh, tell me what do we use to connect noun clauses? Uh, noun clause mer mergers? 
Very good, guys. Okay, subordinators, right? Subordinators, uh, which are called noun clause markers, are used to connect right, these clauses, okay? So what are they? All right, writing down in your notebook, guys, okay? So which 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 ones are they, uh, Eli? Hello? So which... Which are those connectors that we're talking about? Uh, subordinated, do you say? Yes, uh, the connectors, what are they? The non-closes? Uh-huh. Non-closes? I need to pay attention, I'm sorry. All right, it's, it's, it's over here. Hold on, let me, the, the, this thing right here, okay? So which one are, which, which subordinators do we have? Or which connectors, or which noun clause markers do we have? Um, are they relative pronouns? I don't know. All right. Yeah. I mean, some of them. <laughs> you know, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, Alejandra. So, which are they? Well, uh, that if whether. WH words like how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why, WH with ever words like however, whatever, whenever, whatever, whichever, whomever, and whomever. Very good job. Good job, Alejandra. All right. All right. So write them down in your notebook, guys. Okay. So those are the uh, subordinators, right? Now, notice something, guys. There is a note down at the bottom that says, except for that, okay? That what, means, what it means, guys, is that that is the only subordinator, all right, uh, that we are going to, that we can omit, okay? Meaning that it is optional for you to write it or not, all right? So uh, write down that note, guys, okay? So that is optional, okay? So if you use, all right, if you use the, um, the relative pronoun or whatever you want to call the subordinator, that, okay, that will work. Uh, that can be skipped if you want, right? Very good. Questions so far, guys? No questions? All right, very good. All right. So, um, so first off, guys, okay, let's talk about the noun clauses as subjects of the verb, okay? Let's take a look at the first example. Uh, Lydia, help me read, Lydia. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. All right, very good. Okay, that George learned how to swim is a miracle. Miracle, okay. So where do you see the noun clause here, Miguel? Noun clause? In the first one? Yes. Is that George learned how to, how to swim. Uh-huh. Very good. That George learned how to swim, okay. All right, notice something, guys. I'm going to make your life easier right now. Let's rewrite this. So I want you to, to think about this as a regular noun, okay? So let's, this is, for example, let's pretend that this is just a single noun, okay? Not a noun clause, just a noun, okay? Then you have the verb to be plus your Okay, your object, okay? Very good. Or um, plus complement if you want, optional, okay? Plus complement, plus object, plus complement here, all right? Now, notice something, guys. You always are going to use the verb being here, guys. The reason, and the reason why, guys, is because if this is a noun, guys, can I say, can I say uh, you are a miracle? Can I say this? You are a miracle? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, guys, we can say you are a miracle, okay? Can I say um, Lydia is a miracle? Can I say that? Yes. Yes, we can say that, right? So if I say, for example, guys, Lydia is a miracle, all right, is that, uh, uh, what, what is Lydia here? In grammar, what is Lydia? The subject. Okay, it is a subject of the sentence, right? Or, in, in, and as a subject, she's a noun, okay? 
Very good. So it's a noun, right? Lydia is a noun, right? Uh, and we shouldn't have our miracle here. We should say is a miracle, okay? Hold on. Let me correct that. Uh, let me erase, okay. All right, so over here, guys. So we say, all right, so Lydia is a miracle, okay? All right, now, the, the, the reason why we're comparing this, guys, is because I want you to notice, I want you to notice that if we say Lydia is a miracle, you have a noun, we have a verb to be, we have the verb be, and we have the object of the sentence, yes or not? Yes, right? Do we have those uh, three parts of speech, guys? Yes or not? Yes, guys. Very good, right? We do have those three parts of speech, right? Now, let me ask you something else, guys. Okay, so let's substitute that George learned how to swim is a miracle, okay? So this whole thing, guys, is called a regular, I mean, a noun clause because these, the whole phrase, guys, works as the noun of the sentence. It works as the subject, or you can say the noun of the sentence, okay? So this whole thing, guys, this thing right here is going to become the subject, okay? Subject plus verb, B plus object, okay? All right, is that part clear, guys? Yes? Yes, Miguel? Lydia? Ellie? Yeah. Alejandra? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, very good, okay? All right, let's take a look at the second example. Uh, Alejandra, help me read the second example. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. Very good, okay? Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain, okay? All right, notice, guys, that the, conjunct the, the conjugators, I mean, I'm sorry, the connectors that we're using are that or whether, okay? Uh, can I say this, guys? Let's see another example. Can I say whatever you think about me? Uh, well, you know what? Whatever you think about Cheyenne is not important. All right. So, Lydia, can you identify here? First of all, tell me if this is a noun, if there is a noun clause here or not. Uh, you're, you're muted, Lydia. You're muted. Oh. Yeah, it's a noun clause. Very good. Where do you see the noun clause? Uh, whatever. Okay, whatever is the connector. Huh? You, yeah, and you think. Okay, I'll, hold on. I, there is something. Okay, I'm going to type it in again. Whatever you think about Cheyenne is not important okay very good guys all right one, one more time okay all right so Lydia what is it I'm sorry whatever is the connector you say uh-huh and you think is the noun clause because the connector continues by a noun okay but the, the whole thing I want okay guys the whole this whole thing right here everything that is before the verb B guys is the noun clause got it because the whole, this whole sentence, whatever you think about Cheyenne, all right? This whole sentence, guys, works as a subject, okay? The whole thing works, works as a subject, got it? All right? So, whatever you think about Cheyenne is not important. It's like saying, uh, I don't know, Cheyenne is not important, okay? All right, if we only use Cheyenne instead of this whole thing, guys, okay, it would still be, it would be a noun plus a verb B plus plus uh, the, the object of the sentence, guys, or in this case, the complement, right? Very good. All right, let's take a look at uh, the other example. All right, uh, what May said confused her parents. Okay, um, now guys, why, all right, we're not using, guys, we're not using the verb be here, but why is that a noun clause? What, what do you think, why do you think that's a noun clause, Alejandra? Why do I think? Yes. 
que es el noun clause, uh -huh. because it's using a WH word at the beginning. And uh -huh. um, it's using a noun. Okay. Okay, very good, okay. Oh, that's another thing, right? So you see, guys, you have you have the you have the connector plus you have the noun after afterwards, right? Connector noun, connector noun, connector noun. That's another way that you can identify with, okay? Now, can you let, let's let, let me give you another example, guys, about how to identify this, okay? Can you substitute the uh, can you substitute the relative? I mean the the noun clause with a noun. So is it possible guys to substitute to, to, to substitute the noun clause with a noun? So for example guys, can I say instead of what, what Mary said confused her parents, can I say can I say that dog confused her parents? Can I say this? Yeah. Yes guys, okay. All right. So notice guys, okay, I can substitute the whole phrase, guys, okay, I can substitute all these words with a noun, okay? I can substitute it with a different subject, all right? All right, what about the, the last example, uh, Lydia? Let's take a look at the last example, right? Let's try to explain to me why is, um, you know, the, why is this part here a noun clause? Uh, is it not? Yeah, you don't know how to say. That's right. You, so, you can do it. Uh huh. Let me think. Connector. <coughs> ask yourself so, this question. Right. What was the question that you have to ask? Can you, can you substitute it, it with a noun? Can you substitute this with a noun? Yeah, we can substitute that. Very good, okay, that's that's why. But I, ah, okay. All right, so however, so can I say, for example, instead of however you learn to spell is okay with me, instead of that, can I say, you are okay with me? Can I say this? Yeah. Yes, guys, I can say this, okay? All right, because I can substitute it. So, all right, do we understand, all right, Alejandra, Eli, Lydia, Miguel, do we understand why this clause here, why this clause here, why this clause here, why this clause here works as a noun? I do it. Sort of. Yes. Okay, right. Alejandra? Yes. El Ellie, very yeah. good. Okay. All right, do my favorite, guys. Write down the structure here and let's play a game, okay? All right, the game is going to be yes. called Send Me an Example in a Chat Room Right Now, okay? Well, I ask you. You have five seconds to answer my question, right? Miguel. Give me an example. Three, two, one, go. Everybody else send me an example in the chat room. Okay, let's go. Five, the, four, uh, three, two. Too slow. Lydia, let's the go. The girl Lydia. who plays the guitar. Okay, the, the girl who plays the guitar. Very good. The girl who plays the guitar is beautiful. Hmm, okay, relative or noun close, guys. What do you think? Five, four. Lydia, what do you think? Five, four, three, two. No. All right. Maria playing Alejandro. the guitar is beautiful or something like that. Okay. That, okay. This is a close, but that is not a noun close, right? That is yeah, a relative. Not. That is a Actually, relative. Actually, you saved the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right. Let's, let's, all right. One more time. All right. I'll give a few seconds to try it again. Lida, let's go. <coughs> uh-huh. Oh, I thought you left, Alejandra. <laughs> I was saying, hey, uh, guys, do me, do me a favor just because I don't know who's who on WhatsApp. Can you send me a message on the group, guys? Just send a message, whatever, guys. Just say hi or whatever, just so I can know who you are. Oh, you know what? Just send your name, okay? Miguel, Lydia, El. I'll do that Alejandra, in a second. If I don't have it. Okay, very good. All right. So let's see, guys. Let's take a look at your examples. Lydia says, my sister who sings very well is very brave. Okay, all right, guys. You are give you guys are giving me relative clauses, which is okay, but we need noun clauses, okay? All right. Uh, in 
Okay, that's, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, Miguel, let's try it again. Let's see. Guys, the structure, the structure is right here, right? The structure is right here, down here, okay? Let's go. When Mary, when Mary learned to play the guitar. Very good, okay? We start with the W word. When Mary started to learn to play the guitar, it's not guitar, it's guitar. guitar. Repeat, guitar. okay? I usually... Okay, so when Mary started to learn to, to play the guitar, she became more beautiful or something along the lines. Okay. When Mary started learning to play the guitar, there will be a common here. She became more beautiful. Like this? It's not really true, but it's sort of, um, it's sort of an example. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know, Rick. All right. I think we need more examples. I, I don't feel convinced. I feel convinced with your relative clauses, guys. But, all right, let's pause for a second, guys. Uh, Lida says, my sister sings very well. Okay, all right. Um, let's pause for a second. We're going to see more examples, okay? Because right now, I'm not convinced, okay? I'm convinced that you know how to use, um, how to use relative clauses, okay? But not clauses, I, I feel a little bit confused here, okay? All right. So, guys, um... For example, we didn't know that Billy would jump, okay? We're, we're using it, okay, this is, this is as an object, actually. We're going to continue with the subject, okay? All right, guys, so uh, let's take a look at more examples here. All right, Alejandra, can you please give me the structure? The structure of the... Of uh, noun clauses. Of the relative. Noun clauses. Um, it will be the noun, the, the to noun be, clause. And, and, uh -huh. and the verb. Very good. Plus a verb. Plus what else? Mm, the, uh -huh. the noun clause. No, verb all right. and the, and the, Do me a favor, be? guys. We're going to no, go back. Right. We're going to go back. It's okay. All right. We're going to go back. And I needed to, uh, once again, I'm going to ask you to write it down, guys, okay? Because this is the reason why we cannot do the noun clause, okay? Because uh, write it down, please. You got 10 seconds to write it down. All right. And then you are going to give me examples. All right. So first of all, guys, okay, let's let's backtrack a little bit, okay? Did you, did you all write down the structure now, guys? Yes, Lydia? Yes. Okay. Awesome, awesome, okay. All right, let's backtrack a little bit, guys, okay? First of all, guys, we have to start with one of these words, which are called, how do we call them? Subordinators, connectors, or noun clause make markers, okay? Got it? All right, so we have to start with one of these. If we're going to use this as a subject, okay? If we're going to use the noun clause as the subject of the sentence, all right? Very good. So we got the structure already, all right? So a noun clause plus a verb plus what else? Object. Noun, very good. Plus verb plus object, okay? All right, very good. So let's have a noun clause, okay? Let's start building up a noun clause. First of all, in order to make a noun clause, we need what, guys? We need a what? Lydia? to start making the noun clause? A connector. A connector, very good. Which connector do you want to use, Alejandra? When. When, okay. Very good, okay. Uh, so now, let's try to add information to when, okay? We need a noun, guys, okay? So after, remember guys, after the connector here, remember, if it is a noun clause, we need a? What do we need afterwards? Five, four, three, two. Miguel, what do, we, what do we need afterwards? If it is a noun clause, what do we need? After the connector. Uh, uh, noun. Very good, okay. We need a noun, very good. Oh, Alejandra, you're Lydia? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, oh no, 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 that's, 
No, no, no. I, I got it. This is I thought that you were going to be Dalia. All right, very good. All right, guys. So we need a noun, okay? Uh, give me a noun, Lydia. <coughs> oh, my God. Um, boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. Okay. Okay. When my girlfriend... Okay, when my girlfriend what? Remember that we're going to need a verb after that. So, uh -huh. so what can we say about, about the girlfriend? Miguel? Um, exist. <laughs> okay, when my girlfriend exists. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, when my girlfriend uh, existed, existed what? In my mind, okay? When my girlfriend existed in my mind, all right? Let's use that. When my girlfriend existed in my mind, in my mind but we're going to need a verb afterwards. So what's wrong here? Can we use something else? You're good, okay? So you can say, um, you can, all right, let's use my girlfriend, okay? Let's use that as an example, okay? All right, so when my girlfriend, what, guys? What can we use? Learn to drive. Okay, when my girlfriend learned to, to drive, okay? All right, so my, when my girlfriend learned to drive, uh-huh, <laughs> you chose, you chose, uh, you chose the worst um, connector to bring up an example, guys, so now you tell them. Yeah. Well, we can use whatever, right? What, whenever my girlfriend learned to drive. Very good, okay. Whatever or whenever. Whenever. I mean, but that, that, would, that would pretty much the same. We would change whenever my, my girl. Okay. So you can say, for example, guys, whenever my girl comes home is not important to me. Got it? Got it, guys? So why? Why am I saying whenever my girl comes home, it's not important to me? First of all, is this correct? Yes or not? You can say when instead of whenever, right? When my girl comes home is not important to me. But what happens here, guys? So can you identify, guys, who can tell me, who can identify the noun clause here? Alejandra, Lydia, Miguel? When my girl comes home. Very good. When my girl comes home, very good, right? Yes. When my girl comes home, all right, is not important to me. Why, guys? So can we now? Let me. Okay. So let me ask you the question. Can we change this into a into any other subject, guys? Can I say? Uh, can I say uh, a bird is not important to me? Can I say this? Yes. Yes. All right. So yes, guys. So we got. Uh, so we actually, we actually uh, created a very good example now, right? You can say whenever my girl comes home, right? Notice, guys, that the noun clause, okay, will have an object at the end, okay? So over here, guys, okay. Whenever, when my girl comes home, okay. So these right here, okay. So let's try to create a different example, right? So who wants to try, guys? Who wants to try to give me another example? The comma. If Maria ever beats someone at poker, the world's going to end. Okay, now, no, the, problem, no, the problem with that sentence, it is, the sentence is all right. Comma. But remember, if you say, if Maria, first of all, you're introducing it with if, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, but if you say, if Maria, ever beats someone at poker 
All right. Here, guys, we need, what do we need after, guys? According to the structure, what do we need after? Object. No, no, no. no. I mean, a verb. A verb, guys. Verb? You need a verb, yes. So you can say Maria. You can say uh, that Maria, right? That Maria ever beat someone at poker. It's a surprise. It's a surprise, okay? Very good. All right, you're getting the hang of it, okay? All right. Yeah. Slowly but surely, all right? Very good. Alejandra, let's try another one, Alejandra. And then Lydia. All right. So think, start thinking about your examples, okay? All right, so Alejandra, let's go. Um. <clears throat> you can use any, any connector that you want. Um, who, who, no, I'm sorry, no, no, not who, like, um, whoever, whoever, You're good. I don't know why my, my right. right. it's, it's okay. It's okay. That's a good start. Okay. That's a good start. Okay. So far, you're doing good. All right. Yes, that's how you start. Okay. So, whoever. No, let me change it. No, right. let me change it. Um, um, why? But if I you why does it have to be a, a question, right? Or not necessarily? No, we're not. All we're right. not using questions. No. You can say for, with why, um, guys. I'll give you an example with why. Mm -hmm. um, for example, you can say why why you uh, why you stole that. Okay, is not of. You can say it's not of relevance, or you can say important, right? Let relevance to me, okay? Why you saw that is not relevant to me, all right? So you can say something like that, okay? But it's not a question, guys, okay? You're saying, okay, let me put you into context, guys, okay? Regarding, I don't want you to translate, but so you can have an idea, guys. It's like saying, el por qué vos borrobaste eso no es importante para mí, all right? All right, uh, if I say, um, that you come home is important to me, right? Que vos vengas a casa es importante para mí. You get the, you, are you getting the idea, guys, now? So it, that, that que vos vengas a yeah. casa is, is, all right, so that is the subject of the sentence. Because after that, you have que vos vengas a casa, el verbo be es, right? You can use any other verb, right? So you can say, for example, whoever, whoever, Whoever um, brings me more, you know, whoever whoever brings toys is going to get my thanks, right? Whoever brings toys is going to get my thanks, right? Or whoever, whoever, um, I don't know, you can say, um, uh, what you said about me, okay, what you said about me was hurtful, okay? So that would be another example. You're talking in, like, you, you, you're, you're even talking about something in the past, all right? So now, uh, is that a little bit clear now? What do you think, Miguel? Is that more I got the idea, I think. All right, very good. All right, send me examples, guys. I'm going to ask you right now. Lydia, send me I just your example. One. Okay, right. Meanwhile, Lydia, give me your example. And everybody okay. else send an example in the chat room, okay? When my baby dog eats at midnight, he, it gets sick. Okay, it's at midnight. Okay, uh, it gets sick. All right, so when you say when my baby dog eats at midnight, okay, um, how is this a subject of the sentence, Lydia? My baby dog 
Baby dog. I mean, yes, baby dog is is the subject, but I need I need the noun plus. So it is, is this uh, a noun plus? Right. Yeah. No. No, no because. Really okay. The thing, guys. Okay. All right. The thing is, the noun plus needs to work as a noun itself. The whole phrase needs to work as a noun. Okay. All right. If I say cuando mi 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 pequeño cuando mi pequeño perro bebé. Cuando mi cachorrito, right? Cuando mi cachorrito come a la medianoche, okay. se enferma, right? So, can I substitute that with a noun? Can I say, can I say, for example, my dog, he gets sick? No. But oh, you guys, can say... you can. You cannot, right? You can say, it gets sick, right? It gets sick. Or, or my and dog, say... it gets sick. Whenever my puppy eats at midnight, is when it gets six. Very good. Okay. Whenever my puppy it's I it's at midnight. Okay. Is when he gets sick. All right. Or you can substitute that with it. Okay. Uh, so whenever my puppy eats at midnight is when he gets sick. Okay. All right, why? Because we can substitute, see see this, Lydia, okay? This is what I want. If I erase this, Lydia, if I erase this and I change it with, I don't know, uh, avocado. Okay, avocado is when I get sick, okay? Uh, John Travolta is when I get sick, okay? If I substitute it with, can I substitute it with a noun? If I can substitute it with a noun or, or a subject, any subject, even a personal pronoun if you want, then it is, it means that it, the, the, it is a noun clause, okay? All right, think about another example, Lydia. Write it down, and then I'll ask you again, right? Alejandro, give me one example. Um, um, whatever, whatever, um, who said that, Whatever Jose said, very good. Hey, I like this one. This one's going good, huh? Whatever Jose said. Is. Is, very good. Really important to me. Is really important to me. Very good. Okay, good job. Los Alejandro, guys. Good job, Alejandro. All right, Miguel, give me your example. I know that you sent it to me, but just give it to me. However, Marcus, whoever Marcus gets to do it, you know, however Marcus manages to do it, is not something that matters here. Is not something that matters here. Beautiful example. All right. Beautiful. Notice he, notice this here. Okay. Uh, Alejandra, can you identify the noun plus in the example from Miguel? Uh, however, Marcus manages to do. To do it. All right. Everything before everything before that verb is the noun clause. Okay, how oh, yes. are you? Okay, okay, very good, mm -hmm. Alejandro. All right, you got it. You got it. Okay, very good, Lydia. Are you ready? I I send you in the group. Okay, so if she studied that. That should be third person. If she studies, by the way, but uh, if she studies hard, hard, uh, she will get good grades. That will be our first conditional. Uh, no, that's not the right example. All right. Uh, first of all, the thing is this, okay? So let's break it down. First of all, you need a WH word, right? Or a connector, okay? Any other connector, okay? You need a connector. What is one of the connectors that you know, Lydia? Um, who, what, when, where? Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to go to where. Okay, where? Let's use where. All right, then after that, according to the structure, what do we need, Lydia? A uh, subject. Very good. Okay, a subject. Okay, right. So we need a subject, right? We need a noun. Okay, give me a noun. Um, or a pronoun, okay? Let's, my friend. let's use a subject. Give subject, huh? My friend. Wherever, okay, where my friend, okay? Okay, now we need... 
we need a complement, okay? So here we will need a complement. You can use another object or you can use a verb, whatever, okay? But we need a complement, all right? Whenever, wherever my friend, where my friend goes, wherever my friend goes, right? Where my friend, um, what do you want to say? No, I don't know. Uh, give me a verb, okay? If you're using where, um, you might want to use a verb here. Um, go. Okay, go. If my friend is third third person. If it is third go. person, goes. Okay, where my friend goes. Okay, all right. So Lydia, these right here, right, and this everyone. Okay, these right here. This whole thing is a noun clause. Okay. The reason why it is a noun clause is because now we can use what is the the, the second part of the structure of a or a, or of a noun clause. Object. Very good. Okay. I mean, we have the subject. No, we need a verb now, right? Um. Okay. So, what verb do you want to use? Uh, goes study. Where, okay, so wherever my friend, I mean, where my friend goes, okay, I don't know why I put it together here, guys, but whatever. Where my friend goes, okay. Uh huh. Uh, when my friend goes to study. No, um, we need, we need, we need a verb, just the verb. When my friend goes to study. All right, not, not like that. All right, you can say, where my friend goes is awesome. Or you can say, where my friend goes worries me. Where my friend, where, where my friend goes um, uh, surprises everyone, okay? Why? Because I'm using this as a noun, okay? So this whole thing is used as a noun, okay? All right, we're going to get more examples about it tomorrow. Um, I think, uh, Miguel, did you get it? From 1 to 10, how much do you get from me? 8 out of 10, because right. usually it's not a perfect thing, but I think I get it in, Very good. and how to use it. Very good. All right, Alejandra, from 1 to 10, how much do you get from me? Um, 8.5. 8.5, okay, do you think that you should, you are able to to create a noun clause now? Mm, yes, I can All try. Right. Very good, very good. What about you, Ellie? Um, oh, uh, don't worry, Alejandra, I'm gonna ask you tomorrow though. I'm gonna ask everyone tomorrow, huh? Yeah, something. Yeah, so from one to 10, all right, how much did you get from uh, the understanding of the bill? A point five? Oh. <laughs> no, I, what was the question? What was the question? How much do you understand from uh, oh, um, Atlas? Uh, okay, I think I got it. Okay, all right. All right, uh, Lydia, what do you think, Lydia? Like a seven. Like a seven, okay. All right. Uh, yes, I would I would strongly suggest you to um, to study that that part, you have the presentation, you have the video. This this presentation, guys, has been taken out of the video. All right, so just watch that part of the video, and just notice, guys, that these the the you know everything that is underlined is a relative is a noun clause. Okay, all right, uh, Alejandra, I hope to see you tomorrow again. Are you gonna come to class tomorrow, Alejandra? Uh, yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Nice seeing you here, okay? Thank you, Alejandro, for coming. Thank you, Lita, for coming. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Ellie. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, uh, go with something, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you, guys. Have a nice night. Thank you. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.